Hey guys, coming at you uh, with another uh, easy recipe. I call this a uh, all-purpose, uh, all-purpose Sichuan style sauce. Super delicious. Right, I got the recipe from a famous uh, Sichuan cuisine uh, chef, and I will post the original recipe down there. But I do a lot of uh, adjustment, not because the, the original is not good. First, I don't use so much. It's not so hot this one compared to the original one, and you know I like a little bit more uh, vinegar, a little bit more tart, so I adjust the little things. So don't be afraid to adjust to your liking. So this is basically everything you will need in this recipe, excludes this corner. So the main recipe mm -hmm. is the hot pepper. You can choose this type. You can choose any, just any big green hot pepper would work. Uh, another main ingredient is, uh, did I say recipe again? No. Anyway, this is the main ingredient, not recipe. Uh, another one is this fermented beans. You will have a better look a little when we take it out. Mm -hmm. And uh, garlic. So only these two will have the cooking process. The rest are add afterwards, including this. These are Our all... lovely fresh green onions. <laughs> not at all. So sugar. Oil, any oil would do, you know, uh, olive oil, grape seed, light flavor, uh, light flavor, you know, veggie oil would yeah. do, vinegar, Chinese vinegar, and uh, soy sauce. And let's get started. Sous chef, Phil. Right. So the first thing you got to do is prepare the peppers for the roasting. Mm -hmm. So not, and it's not hard. We're going to chop the top. We're going to, uh, I don't usually chop the bottom, but I'm not that familiar with these. I'm used to jalapenos. I'm going to slice them down the center. Right. And I'm just going to get rid of the seeds. Now, you might want to wear gloves for this um, because after you're done this, you cannot touch your eyes or face for a long time or you will burn. Right. So be careful after you're done. Mm -hmm. So that's it. Yes, and this is actually an optional step. The reason we do that because we don't want the whole thing to be overly spicy. Mm. The end result of the sauce we make has a little bit of like a hint of spice, uh, like a hot, but not overly like yeah. really powerful style. We're, we if you like that. super hot, you can keep the seeds. Keep the seeds. Yeah. You'll burn your face off. <laughs> <clears throat> Okay, and also and the roasting later also make that uh, less hot too. And that's our finish. We're going to roast them just like this. Yeah. So I'll do one more. Yeah. And then uh, probably do the rest off can. But yeah, just yeah. don't cut your fingers open. My technique is probably awful. I'm kind of used to handling jalapenos a little bit more than these guys. Easier to get rid of. I think. Mm. The seeds, is it? Mm -hmm. Yeah, bigger. they're thicker. They're just easier to handle. Yeah. These are long and you skinny. You can get those a bigger, like a wider green pepper that is also hot. Mm -hmm. I just interchange that. None of those are authentic Sichuan hot pepper hot, but those all works. Even the hot peppers in Sichuan aren't authentic. They come from South America. <laughs> Good one. <laughs> all right, so that's what we're looking at. We'll finish these up now. So once the peppers are cut, you heat up the pan, medium low. Yeah. Oops, he snuck in. <laughs> and just to put that uh, in the pan to roast. Uh, there's no oil, there's nothing in it, just dry fry. Yeah, dry fry. Dry fry. Till it's a little bit burn-ish. Like we call that... Blackened? Blackened, yeah. Mm, slightly blackened. Mm, we call that a tiger skin effect which means that the skin would have a little bit black and a little bit detached. Right. And uh, just well, put that medium low and uh, let it roast. Every now and then we flip it a little bit and uh, use hand to pan fry so that you're ready to make any tea in the future. <laughs> and uh, while this is going low and slow, kind of, we can mince some garlic for later use. Pretty mince. Pretty minced. Okay, so uh, just mince up some garlic however you like to do that. Yeah. I just cut off the little the butts, the little ends here. Yeah. And we use the cutting board that we use for pepper to minimize washing. Yeah, yeah. We, <laughs> we keep it uh this is not a fancy cooking channel here. Okay, this is called 
real life cooking. <laughs> okay, so, Lazy cooking, efficient. That's yeah. why we're making a multi, multi-purpose, right? Okay. All-purpose, all-purpose sauce. Smush. Once the yeah. butts are off, I give it a smash. That makes the skin fall off super easy. Right. Which I throw in our overflowing composter, which you will not see, hopefully. And then smash that guy. Oh yeah, this is really cathartic as well. Just get you really, you got some pent up frustration or anger, you just smash that garlic. Yeah. <laughs> Feel great now. Feel great. Ah, let it out. <laughs> Take it out on the garlic. Yeah. Don't use your nice Japanese knife for this. <laughs> we, we did for a while and the guy sharpened it. He's like, uh, do you... Do, it's you, very do you crush garlic with this knife? And we're like, yeah. And he's like, yeah. don't. <laughs> we're like, okay, sorry, man. We didn't know. I thought it's metal. It's strong. But yeah, it's thin and flexible. Whoops. Don't throw them in the handle like that. Retrieve. Good. And collect it up. And Let's just give it, it a mince. Okay. Okay. Doesn't have to be. I actually don't know how much to mince it, so I'm gonna just listen to the boss. She's gonna tell me when I'm done. Mm -hmm. Okay. More. Get rid of this piece of skin that snuck in. Please. Give it a cross, go across this way. Yes, while you mince the garlic, don't forget to check the stove, which is what I'm going to do now. Low and slow, give it a flip. I'm still over here mincing garlic. My disembodied voice is visiting you through the powers of technology. Yeah. Don't use hand, but I'm using hand too. Just go then disperse a little bit. And those burnt thing, you want that effect. Those are desired Tiger stripes. effects. Wow. Yes. yes. With sound effects. Mm -hmm. I'll flip this guy, flip this guy. There right. we go. Don't use hand. Well, use hand, just don't burn yourself. Okay, we we'll miss a little bit more. Oh. Oh yeah, it's this is a sauce. For That's me, right. it's just I don't like the whole chunk of garlic yeah, in yeah. my mouth. I like it infused, so I like a fine mince. Mm. I didn't like, I didn't crush it because we just don't have the crusher. Maybe you can try that. Yeah, you can probably just use your press. If mm. you have a garlic press, that'll work well for this. Would that well lose the juice? Uh, make sure you keep the juice in somehow. If you're going to press it, put it in a bowl so you keep the juice. Right, right. You don't want to okay. lose the juice. Yeah. Um, which I think generally you keep that. Yeah. Geez, I haven't used a garlic press in years. All yeah. right. So there you go. Is so, that, I think that's fine that's, enough now. That's, uh, that's pretty good. I think that's uh, very good. All right, see that, everybody? Yeah, there yeah. That's a pro, pro. Okay, pro. And now we're going to chop a little super old garlic, not garlic, green onion that we have at home. They're supposed to be green, but they're turning yellow. Well, use that up. Yep, use them up quick. Okay. Sorry about the water sound there. Had to give the knife a rinse. So uh, we only uh, want, the, want green the green ends, part. right? So let's yes. get the green ends lined up in the cutting zone. And the little. Here's a nice old piece. Let's get rid of that. Bye bye. And this little guy's in. So I just line up everybody's tips. And I don't like this saggy one like this. Maybe we can cut it. Oh, I kind of kept that. Right the other one. No, that's too far. You're missing all the green. All, yeah. all the greens on these are saggy. Yeah. Get fresh ones if you can. We just or you won't have green. If I really trim these properly, we only have white. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no. So you want pretty green fine is, as well, right? Yes. Okay. Green is more aromatic. Okay. Switch okay. sides looks oh, better oh, okay. for a cutting Wait shot. Sous chef is gonna show off. I'm not showing off. I just want an interesting side. My fat old hand is not so interesting. Okay. Okay. I think that's good enough, huh? That's you want a good bit enough. more? I think that's perfect. So green onion was just for a flavor, a little bit tall. Color and minor flavor, right? Yes. Nice. Yes. So that's perfect. Those are ingredients that are really important for the flavor. Now I'm going to check on the pepper again. Can I give them a jiggle? Yeah, please. Okay. Give them a jiggle like that. Yeah. Have some fun. Look at those tiger stripes. Wow. I'm always doing the sound effect. Oh, yo, I lost one. I got to retrieve it. Clean. Five second roll. Okay. okay, and a little bit of, I don't know, I don't burn yourself, but sometimes you gotta, you could use chopsticks or a fork or a thing. Mm -hmm. Another thing is to try to get some smell. Once the pepper roasted, you will have that roasted pepper smell. Mm. And that's a good sign where we are. But right now still has that green, green. smell, yeah. right? 
Yeah, so yeah. it still needs a little bit. Good practice for your tea tasting to use your aroma as a guide. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Right. Smell that green flavor. Keep that to focus on the tea-ish bean, even though there's no tea in it. Yeah, but the skills from tea drinking are useful in the kitchen. There you go. Now, next time. Uh, that's true. All the tea producers are really good. Yep. Cook. Okay. Okay, now I see the pepper is about done, but not quite, like a two thirds of the way. So I'm ready to put in the uh, this preserved beans, fermented. It's a bean fermented product. Something looks like that. Okay. So uh, the original recipe asked for one tenth of the pepper amount, but I like to put a little bit more. So I put about a quarter of it in to together roasting for the last bit. So just mind the salt level because those little beans are salty. Mm. So if you do like me a little bit, can you flip that? Sure, yeah. You do a little modification of the ratio, just mind the salt level. You might want to reduce a little bit like um, uh, soy sauce or something. Mm -hmm. So now we let it roast for about, you know, three to five minutes ish. Mm -hmm. So again, use the aroma. Once you smell that bean, fermented, fermented bean, bean smell, yeah. with the pepper aroma, it was, feels like it's about done. The beans, you don't want to roast it. You don't want to have the burned smell of the beans. Right. That's why it come later. And if you're not familiar with what these beans smell like roasted, take a good smell before, smell mm -hmm. those peppers, you're going to smell something different. Yes. So that's how you tell. Mm, already starting to come. Mm. So you really smell the bean smell now. Um, I'm not sure how to describe it, but it is a fermented bean spell smell. So it just smells definitely not like the hot peppers. And you can smell the salt in it too. Yeah. And the great thing about fermented beans is they don't make you fart. <laughs> They've already gone through that process. Right, right. And you can see the bean has a little bit of color change, slight mm -hmm, color mm -hmm. change too. Almost like a, a pushing the water or grease out of it or kind of something. Like mm. Feel a little bit shinier. And our tiger stripes. Yeah, so this one is about to be done. Give it a final shake. Now, do we got to rush this off of the heat or can we just leave it in the pan while we go do other stuff? Yes. But yes, I mean, you can go and do other stuff, come back to it when it's cool, or usually I'm not so patient. So once it's off, I put that on the cutting board and so that it can cool faster there. Right on, so I'll bring it over? Yeah. Good. So transfer that from the pot to the uh, cutting board. Then all we do is basically mince them. However you like to mince that. You're gonna do that hot? Without burn that. Uh, Optional. I usually start mince them. They cool pretty quick once you space right. them out, but you just don't burn yourself. Mince it all up together, right? Yeah, yeah. So a well mince for all of them <clears throat> to combine the flavor. Just gonna organize and them get a, a bit. you know, an old jar, glass mm -hmm. jar, mm -hmm. plastic jar ready. So. And I can just use the uh, green onion knife, I yes. guess, right? Yes. A little bit more. I like to get my. Cutting a little bit organized. Here we go. Grab that and give them a mince. As sous chef requested, we got to switch over to a fancier angle. Uh, fine, similar to the green onion. Yeah, well minced. It's actually really fun to cut those beans. Ayo, they hot, are a little eh? bit hot. Because yeah. you can let them. I just uh, spray them and rend and cut. Mm -hmm. Okay, cutting technique matters. If you like to collect like a Phil is doing, maybe let it cool first. Right. It's not too hot, it's just hot. And it's <laughs> a little bit wet still, which I think is okay. Wet? That's uh, good. Yeah. I like uh, that uh, the goal isn't... <laughs> I think it's okay, it'll just be quiet in the background. Right. The goal that isn't to have these over. completely dried out. No, not really. 
The goal is to roast for that flavor to come out. Is to provoke a certain flavor. You don't want that to be fully bone dry. Have a little pepper juice in it. It's actually really good.、Mm, right, that makes you, sense. You know, the the burning was for flavor, not for like drying them out. We're not gonna、mm-hmm. make that preserve for years. But those ones do preserve for quite a while. Yeah,、so、I was just gonna say, Anna, that is a good note though, because what we're making is a sauce that we keep. For several weeks, weeks and、yeah. we, not we, you, put that in all kinds of stuff, and it really is a wonderful, like flavor enhancer, and just give you a little bit of something. Yes. Special to、it、your dish. It depends on how much you put. You know, if it's、mm-hmm. a salad or a noodle, you can use that as almost a topping or dressing. Or you really, you can depend on this being a flavorful sauce. Or if you are cooking something, I found like. The ingredients are not combining well, or the thick, like the rich, the the layers of、uh, flavor are not quite there. You gotta put just a touch of this sauce, and you really emulsify the flavor layer. Does that make sense? Yeah,、oh, I think、know. so. No, yeah, in in sense of、uh, it, I think what you're saying is it takes different sort of disparate flavors and connects them. Yeah. Just like an emulsifier would connect oil and water, right, which aren't、right. usually blending quite so well. Maybe a little bit better. A little bit better. Because I、mince. found that some of the beans are still in.、Mm-hmm. You、yep. want the beans to break so they release the,、uh, release the flavor. Yeah. If you don't cut the beans properly, they will make you fart. No, I just made that up to help. Why、you. are you so obsessed about farting? Because beans, beans and farting <laughs> go together. Everybody knows that. <laughs> Everybody knows that. I'm just、uh, why you're emphasizing. Is that your primary concern, sir? It's it should be yours. <laughs> That's for sure. Okay, okay. Let's keep that somehow delicious talk. Got it. Okay, okay. I think that's enough. Unless you tell me it's not enough, because I actually have never done、okay. that before. Uh, I want to go a little bit more. Okay, so this is a real. Give it a five minutes. Throw it in your blender if you want. From what I'm seeing. Yeah, if、like、you are having a big just... quantity, <laughs> come on.、Uh, then you will experience the fine chopping.、Pleasure. Yeah, this is.、Uh, I don't know. I really love chopping those beans. Same here. I love chopping all of this. Is really I just love chopping. In the kitchen, I am the.、Uh, Doing most of the chopping work, and she is doing all of the cooking. The hard work. I find the hard work of cooking is actually what you're eating, and how to put it together on time. But if she just tell me chop this, I love that. I just chop it. I think we're looking pretty good now. What do you yeah, think, Chef? I think that looks really good. Awesome. So now we put that in the jar.、Uh, j- 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 in the jar. Jar. Perfect.、Oui. Okay, so I'm going to bring the jar onto the cutting board to avoid、yes. slopping onto、mm-hmm. the. Here we go.、Mm-hmm. I'm using my knife as a spoon.、Mm-hmm. You can use a spoon or as a knife. Your knife. <laughs> no, you cannot use a spoon <laughs> as a knife. You can use a knife as a spoon, but you cannot use you cannot use a spoon as a knife. You could, but I'd like to see your chopping job after. It's going to be mushy. I've just found a couple big ones, so I got them a little bit small again. Right. And put that in. Okay. Okay. No. Just let me clean up a、okay. little bit. Okay. We're、oh. cheap. We put、Hopefully. every bit. Yeah, yeah. Because we, we roast it for a while. Yeah. This this is all flavor and delicious and. Yeah. Good for now. Okay. Okay. Then we're gonna combine this with these garlic.、So、garlic and yes. Again. Again, we didn't do much of a ratio according to the original recipe. Uh, yeah, I, you, you. It's really something you guys can make this, and you're like, oh, like t- when you do your first batch, just、right. taste it, and you dial that into your own liking. You love、yeah. garlic, maybe throw in a bit of extra garlic, right? Or you want that hotter, just make more green onions. Yeah, 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 hotter. Make more pepper in it. More peppers, more seeds. I really love the、seeds. fermented bean. How rich the flavor is、mm-hmm. once it's cooked. Just、so、watch the、I、salt level on those, because if that's too、yeah. salty, that could be a real game changer. Yeah. Then I'm gonna season it. Again, original recipe that if you just get started, you can try out that. But I'm just gonna do what I like because, you know, some people like that sweeter, some people like that、And、more I, vinegar. Yeah, we're gonna switch now because I'm super nervous pouring from the bottle. 
Okay. Because the vinegar is a game changer too. So I'll grab the camera. Okay. And you will put those in because I don't want to okay. mess up this whole batch of delicious sauce. Step one. Oh, moving everywhere. Okay. okay cutting so board is dirty. Yeah. Cutting board is dirty. Yeah. So we'll move it right out of the frame. <clears throat> so I like to put in, put in the the the, the powderish stuff first. Sugar okay, first. so sugar is going to go first. Yes. Okay. Sanama. About and that much? <laughs> yes, I will also try and then the vinegar is next. Liquor to so you'll just see how much she pours in. One, two, two teaspoons. I don't know. Mm. I made that up. So don't don't measure that. Just see it. You can measure that. Again, the, the, the original recipe is a safe start. Sure. Are we going to put that in the... Just Little. type that into yeah. the description. We'll put that in the description. description. Start with the original and then go yes. with your flavors. This is how she rolls. She just throws the stuff in and guess what? It is amazing. It works every time. And, and generous oil. oil. This is a, like more marinating everything. Then... Oops, I made it dark by accident. Oops. So I'll just show you what that looks like in there. Okay. Ooh, doesn't that look good? Several chopsticks. Huh? Oh, three. <laughs> Why? So confusing. You, you can use other stuff. So what I'm gonna do, which I often do, is mix them up, right? Mm -hmm. Why need three? Because we want to preserve this for a couple of days or to a couple of weeks. Oh, right. And I like to try it, you know. So that was me, not her. Mmm. Oh, that's good. Mmm. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little bit more sugar. I'm gonna make the sauce a little bit more volume. More volume. So mm -hmm. a bit more of everything probably. Yeah. Okay. I was like, that's really good. I was surprised you went for the sugar. Now I get it. Yes. Because this can be a base if you wanted to integrate more veggie to your... Uh, uh, diet and not sure how to cook, More especially vinegar. leafy veggies and stuff. You can just uh, use that as an oil, like a base. Oh, so cook if you're stir veggie. frying a veggie, you can throw mm. that in as the oil. Yeah, and a flavor too. You don't need to think what to put, or if you think just the uh, salt is not enough, you know, in terms of the flavor. So put this as a base and do some stir fry is also quite healthy. That's why we use second chopsticks. Because we lick the first one, and this is going to be around for a few weeks, so you don't want to have that problem of. We're you know. so chatty. No, it's good. It's good. Okay, now I like this consistent. Yeah. See. Let me just get the get the color. Yeah, give that another. Yeah, you can see there that's pretty uh, juicy. Yes. Good. And the garlic will slowly turn a little bit darker as it mm -hmm. integrates. You can use that as a fresh. You can also let it sit for a few days for all the flavors to permeate and combine. Yeah. 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 This did almost all of the ingredients are those really. Hmm. Oh yeah, like <clears throat> they all have that character of releasing their flavor over time. Do we need a third chopstick? Do we need any? I think that's perfect. I think that's good too. So let me just zoom in and show them the chunky mixture now. Yeah, we all think this will work. All right, and so with what we used, we got a, the jar is full about that much. So if you want to fill your jar, you'll know you need a lot more peppers. <laughs> mm -hmm. Good. Okay. 